Bonjour, comment ça va? And welcome back to my channel. My name is Lazius K. For those that just joined us, welcome to you. Thank you for joining. I talk about the practical usage of VR. Woo, that's right. In today's season one, episode 13. Wow, thank you so much for your support, guys. I really appreciate it. We're going to be talking about Alt Space VR, which is a really cool app. We can meet a lot of new people from all over the world and do some pretty cool social networking. But before we do that, let's roll the intro. Welcome back. Remember to like and subscribe, share some love so that you and I together, we can grow the community and help as many people in VR. Yeah, that is what it's all about. All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about Alt Space VR, which is a free app, free to register. That's right, I said the word, let me say it again. It is free, yes. So Alt Space VR is all about social networking, meeting new people, new potential customers, new potential leads, as well, of course, new potential friends. You can go in there with your colleagues, your clients, and also, of course, your family. Maybe you live apart from your family members or your very close friends as well. You can wander through hundreds of different worlds, which you can also build yourself for free. I'll put a link here in the description below. You, there are lots of different events there also. Like, for example, you can go and uh, view stand-up comedy. Uh, you can do semi there are seminars there. There's also yoga classes or in VR. It's really pretty cool, pretty amazing. So without further ado, let's jump into the Oculus Go. Okay, so we're now inside the Oculus. Let's go and check out Allspace VR. Okay, the first time that you load Allspace VR, you'll be taken through a little tutorial. But for the purpose of this video, let me show you how things work. Okay, so first of all, you are inside your own Allspace VR home. Okay, this is the base, base camp, you could call it, it's your own home camp. So if you touch on your controller with your thumb and you press to, let's say, the right, you'll then start turning to the right. Okay, so you can see some artwork up there. You can also customize your home. And I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Okay, now if you want to walk around your home, what you can do is just press on the top part of the touchpad with your thumb and then as you look where you look it will move with you so you can just move around like so okay and we can see i can't see down down because the view is blocking me but i can see up oh look this is very beautiful very cool okay so let me show you a little bit uh, what you can actually do in all space VR very briefly. So here you have your menu. So all you do is you use the trigger and then it will bring up a UI interface like this. Okay. So basically what this is telling you is that you can navigate through different worlds or different rooms. And some of these rooms have been created by other users not just by the platform itself, uh, via their website. And you can actually go there. So where you see, for example, uh, two out of 30, it means that two people are there. Over there, six out of 30, so six people are there, etc., etc., etc. So they have all types of different worlds. This is what's happening now, okay? But if you then navigate, you have different panels here. So some of them are pretty, pretty self-explanatory. For example, events. So if I use my trigger again, this will tell you what events are happening in Altspace VR. And you can actually create your own events as well. And this is what's really, really, really interesting with this platform. For example, you can go up there, click on create event using the trigger. You can either choose a space uh, that's already been done by the developers, or you can create your own space. So to create your own space, I'll show you how to do that in a separate tutorial. Uh, you have to do this via their website. So after you have uh, chosen a space itself, you can choose whether it's a public event or not a public event, okay? And then you can put a, up there event title, 
and description. For advanced event options, you have to edit it at their website at oldvr.com. So this I will show you a bit later. So you put an event, a description, you choose the date and the time from when to when, and then you create the event and you can then invite people. Once you're inside your event, you can send a, an email or notification to your friends uh, who also have created an old VR app uh, user login. They will receive the notification and then they can basically directly go into your room. So that is very, very cool. Okay, there are also some activities. So for example, I guess this is a little bit like events in a sense. So it's not just visiting a room for the sake of visiting a room, but because there's a theme going on. So let's go into the worlds. I'm gonna show you a little bit uh, what's here and there. We're gonna go into some rooms where there's no one yet. So we can just, you know, be, um, we can just take it easy. Okay, so we seem to be in some kind of uh, Icelandic kind of environment, which is pretty awesome. And, oh, look, there's a penguin there talking to a killer wear, which is pretty cute. And uh, there seems to be some video showing over there on the screen also. So this room must be about these guys who either live or travel uh, in these kind of areas and perhaps are showing their documentary for us to experience. So when you're inside the world, uh, what you want to do first is go to your menu. So you click on the trigger and then you need to go to your settings. Okay. So there are certain things you need to do in order to ensure that you have a really good experience in Altspace VR because first you need a good Wi-Fi internet connection and secondly if there's going to be a lot of people in the room uh, then this could affect the graphics and things like that. So in general uh, the first top we don't really put it on. Personal space bubble we don't really put it on. This is basically enables you to kind of be uh, in, uh, invisible so you can wander around no one will see you. Username tags, we put it on so that you can see people's names above their head. Uh, a bit similar to um, Big Screen, which I did a video on. Please watch it, it's in the description below. Um, then you go to Comfort. So this is the comfort as to how things will appear when you actually look around and things. So, um, blinders, I'm not quite sure what this is for, but generally speaking, I put it on Medium. Teleport, I will show you what this is. You can basically teleport from one place to another place instead of pushing your button and, and moving forward or backwards slowly. You can actually teleport and go from A to B really fast. Uh, turning, so normally I leave my snap to 30 degrees uh, and then I don't get any delays because everything renders as you basically look around. So there'll be like a, a black Blacks, uh, the rendering will be black before it renders. So I generally leave it to 30. Snap transition, I normally put it on instant so that the moment I look, whatever is being uh, rendered behind me has already been rendered the moment I've looked. So there's no black when I go left and right. Um, okay, for input, you can also fly. So in different worlds, if you see, uh, for example, let me close this. If you see a little megaphone icon here, this basically means that you can fly and if there are people who are in the other side of the room and you put the megaphone on, they will hear you as if you are right next to them. So let me turn on fly. You can only do this if this megaphone icon, as I just showed you, uh, is inside the room. Okay. I use for shadow. I usually leave it. Rumble haptics. I leave it also. Pulse haptics. I usually leave it also. The teleporting aim. I'll show you how you teleport. Normally, I leave it on arc. Display, show Oculus FPS. So the frame per second, normally I leave it. Uh, but if you want to know how many frames per second are happening, do switch it on. Anti-aliasing means make sure that all the, the, the lines are not jaggered, but they're all nice and smooth. So normally for me, because I have quite a fast internet, I leave it on eight. But some people put it on four. Uh, so it will increase the speed of the rendering. S render scale, so for me normally I put it on 2, but uh, you can put it on 1.4 or 1.6. Uh, it's absolutely okay. It speeds things up and the quality as you can tell is pretty sharp already. A data resolution, yes, I would leave it. Otherwise it can create some, uh, some, some things also. 
So mute when idle. Yes, that means that when you're not talking, it will mute your microphone. Items, web browser. You can browse the web uh, from here also. And then support and about. So the other thing that you can do is if you go to me, you can then change your avatar. Of course, you can change your avatar. So this is me here. And you go to customize avatar. Now, be mindful that when you're actually uh, changing your avatar, other people around you, if they're in the same room, they will see what you're doing. So for example, if I go to avatar type and I do this, then it will change already. So if I look, uh, it hasn't changed yet. Okay, maybe they changed this in the uh, update, but you can only change specific avatars. <laughs> this one is pretty funny, that they have actually um, provided to you. Okay, so if I go back, for example, to the, uh, you can also choose human. They don't only have, uh, you know, funny things. You can choose this lady, for example, this guy, and okay, that's it. So um, female and a male. So for example, if I go to uh, the male again, because I'm a male, then what you can do is you go to back. So you select this guy. Then you go, you can then choose to edit each little thing. So if I go to, for example, skin, normally when I use a, a man, I'm actually like this. This is me. Uh, so if I go to skin, you can change the color. Okay, uh, depending on your race or your preference, because for me, it's not a race thing, it's a preference thing. Uh, and then you can also choose to change your eyebrows, your eyes, your facial hair. Okay. So you can do all these things. Wow, it would be amazing if I looked like that in uh, real life. You can put a cap on. Okay, so if I click save, you can also change your clothing. So you can change the top. You can also change the trousers. So there's a lot of different customizations uh, that you can do. All right, I'll just leave it as is for now uh, for the purpose of this video. Okay. Okay, and go to discover. All right. So uh, other worlds, uh, normally what people do the most when they start off in Altspace VR is they go to Spring Campfire. That's basically the, you know, the first kind of world that people go to. Uh, so let me go to worlds. Let's go and explore some worlds. All right, let's go to Prime Space Station. And yes, as you know, those that have been watching my videos know that um, I like space a lot. Okay, so we seem to be inside a apartment that is facing the globe. So everything is in a low poly, uh, polygon resolution. So of course, the world is not like smooth round. Let me just switch off the audio. Okay, there we go. And because I have a megaphone uh, thing here, it means I can fly. So let's go back into the menu. Then we go to settings. We go to input. Fly is already on. So let me close it. Now to fly. Hey, hi, hi there. Hi. Okay. So uh, the way to close it is you actually look, you can look up and then you press on your touchpad upwards and then you start to fly like this. So you press and hold. You don't just press once. And I'm going through the window. Wow, this is so cool. So let me stop and let go. You see, you're just floating in space. Wow, look at this. How cool is this? It's very cool. So there was a gent another user there that we just said hello to. Uh, unfortunately, it must have appeared a bit rude for me to just leave. Uh, but we're doing the tutorial and I have muted the sound so I couldn't actually hear him. Oh, we have the moon over there. So that is pretty funny. And then later, I'm going to go into one of the rooms uh, to show you what it's like to actually interact with people. Okay, so we've been transported into another world, which is pretty cool. As you can see, there's no megaphone icon here. So this basically means that we cannot fly in this world. And wow, it's so beautiful. There are butterflies. So different worlds, some of the developers or creators of the worlds actually add sound, just to let you know. So it's even more immersive. So I'm just going to switch off the music so I can continue. Okay, there we go. And now what I want to show you is 
As you noticed, when we push forward on the control panel and we hold, we can walk, right? Or when we click on the right or we click on the left, we can move. We can also click backwards to move backwards as well, although sometimes it can be a little tricky. Now, if you want to teleport, you just click on this icon, the little man walking with your trigger. Now it's switched to see there's different icons. So first icon was a man, second icon is like this. Now what I can do is I can press and hold with my thumb like so and by letting go, boom, we have teleported to a different part of the world, okay? So this is tele uh, teletransportation basically. So you don't have to walk, it's much faster to move this way. When you see this in blue, it means it's a little portal. So you, you could actually go there and it will take you through another world. It seems that this uh, gentleman here, <laughs> we are going on the same similar tour. That's quite funny. Um, okay, so the other thing I want to show you is there's also an option to mute your microphone, okay? If you don't want other people to, to hear you, all you do is click on here. There you go. And I think it might be nicer for him because then he doesn't actually hear me. There are no AIs inside of this world, inside of this app. This app is purely normal people, well, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so perhaps there are some AIs here and there. Maybe the app developers are doing some tests with Facebook, who knows? Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, everybody who is in using this app is actually someone uh, living and breathing in the real world. Okay, so the other thing that you can do is you can click on experience and it will show you whether the person, the content creator in this world has actually put up any videos and then you can experience and play their videos that they may have put up. Uh, what you can also do is you can browse. So you can actually browse the web using uh, the Alt Space VR, which is pretty fun. So if you just want to take a break from talking to people or maybe you want to you know, put your notes up or put a video up because you're doing a conference with uh, another few people in a room that you created and you had a video on YouTube, for example, uh, you can all ask them to go to a specific address to view the video so everyone can actually open their own browser or you can purely use it for yourself uh, you know, to, to, to take notes or to remember points that you may have perhaps forgotten. So this is actually quite useful also when you're meeting people. And then the other thing you can do in this app, which is quite fun, is you can actually take a selfie. So three, two, one, cheese. There you go. And then this selfie will actually save itself inside of your Oculus Go folder, which will be inside the screenshots folder. Okay, uh, before we're gonna go out of this app, I'm just gonna show you what it's like to actually go into a room where there are lots and lots of other people. And then we will just say, uh, hello very quickly. Uh, we won't stay too long. Wow, this place is actually really cool. Let me unmute and say hi. Hi, how are you? Hey, nice to meet you. <laughs> is this Jamaica with a big dragon? This is a very cool place. I like it. Nice. Lazius, it's Lazius. You can call me Lazius. Yes. Oh, thanks for your friend notification, Nico. Oh, I thought you sent me. Oh, I sent you a request to be a friend. Never mind. I thought it was the other way around. And Nicole's friend, yes. Oh, I hey, how are you doing, dude? Oh my god. <laughs> I think it's in season, right? This is this is today's fashion. It's gonna be summer very soon. <laughs> oh my god. Who tells you this? <laughs> uh, I'm 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 based in Singapore. Yes, I'm in Singapore. Yes, that's right. But uh, where, where, are you, where, where are you based? Are you based in the States? You have an American twang. 
Oh, okay. So this is your room? This is your world? Okay, so we looked at Alt Space VR, which is an awesome app where you can meet new people or you can have meetings with your clients or your vendors or meet your close friends and family in virtual reality. Yeah, really, really awesome app. And remember, you can also create your own events or participate in other people's events too. Remember to like and subscribe, comment below. Ding! All your ideas and suggestions, I always read your comments. Let me know if this video helped you as well or there are any other apps you'd like me to review. All right, until next time, take it easy. Thank you very much for watching again. I really appreciate your support. Thank you very much, guys. DJ, take it away.